I told her to just sit the F down and listen if she didn't want to go to jail and end up on the news for doing what she did. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over definitely a screwed up story. This story was actually sent over to me on the SSM channel. However, it's that screwed up, I mean really screwed up, that it, it's warranted to go over here. And you'll see what I'm talking about as I get into the story. This is about a guy sharing the story of his friend who helped him get through a nasty divorce and come out, win like a bandit, if you will, make it come out like a bandit, whatever the expression is, upon learning about these details about his wife. You're going to see this guy and his friend caught his wife doing certain things, and you'll find out what those certain things are, on camera, on a live stream, when she thought that the live stream was off. And because of those things, as well as things that she said that got recorded, this guy made out like a bandit. That's the expression in the divorce. And it goes to show you guys, truth is stranger than fiction. There's a whole lot of crazy out there, and holy crap. And I'm not going to say any more so you guys can find out in real time as I reveal what she was doing. It says here, uh, hi, SSM. I've been watching your channel or your content for a while now, and I decided to bite the bullet and send in a wild story that happened to a married couple I gamed with back in 2018 that I had a hand in. Be forewarned that this is a gross story, though it's true. I'm going to change the names for privacy, but I have the husband's permission to share the story as long as he doesn't get dragged into it. Anyway, I will call them Dan and Amy. They had a couple kids together, two girls, no older than four years old at the time. Uh, so I've been gaming with them a couple times a week for around two years while playing the playing an MMO. Dan would run a private stream that showed both the game and the webcam on his laptop. The stream was only available to people who game with us. I never understood why he ran the webcam, but it worked out in his favor. So one night, Dan was called to work right at the end of our dungeon run. He shut down the game, but forgot to turn off, turn off the webcam. Ah... Uh, why people have to record themselves and all these things. Yeah, I record myself here because this is what I do for YouTube and it's a business. I ain't doing any live streams or anything like that. A couple hours later, after everyone else had logged off, I was looking through my browser tabs, completely bored when I noticed their dogs were on the webcam humping. Something seemed really weird about what I was seeing and it took me a minute to put my finger on it why this was bothering me so much. Well... It hit me like a brick. He had told me once that he was allergic to dogs and wasn't going to get a second one. I stared closely at the dog that was on the receiving end and realized a little bit of hair I could see on the back of a woman's head. Ugh. Obviously, you guys know what's going on here. The wife, the dog. Now, I know some people, this is bullshit, SSM. This would never happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> there is a certain disgusting thing that I think are on banned sites of this type of thing. This is disgusting. Ugh. Poor dog. Criminal. I immediately got on my phone, got my phone out, and started recording. Dan was a pretty good friend as far, and as far as I was concerned, and I knew he would want to know. This went on for a couple minutes, and eventually she turned around and her face was visible, along with a clear shot of what she was doing with the dog. <sighs> that poor dog. She should be behind bars. I logged off and went to the liquor cabinet and grabbed a fifth of Fireball and mixed it with some Mountain Dew. Uh, I would have gone to the bathroom and barfed. I wanted the image out of my mind. I didn't get too terribly shit-faced and got up the next day. I sent him a private message in game and told him that I needed to talk to him. So, I'm sure many are thinking about the whole shoot the messenger type of thing here. Who wants to go tell their their bro that I have video footage of your wife and your and your black lab? You know, uh, well, you'll see. Later that night, he messaged me and I told him to put his headset on, which was wireless, and we got on Discord, a voice chat program. 
I asked him if he, he would want, want to know if his wife was cheating on him. He said he thought his wife was up to something and that he recently had hired a PI, but the PI couldn't find anything. So already this guy suspected his wife was up to no good, but he didn't suspect this. I told him that he left his webcam on and that I saw his, what his wife was up to. I told him that it was worse than just cheating and I wanted him to get his head on straight before I showed him what was going on. I told him that he needs to keep his cool because he's going to want to get his kids away from his wife as soon as possible. Dan absolutely effing loved his daughter, so he needed to focus. I sent him the video and he absolutely effing lost it. Well, I would too. Amy was out with the kids and wouldn't be back for a couple hours. This was probably a good thing as he was hysterical for a good five minutes or so. No idea what he would have done. After he calmed down, he really wanted to talk about what had been going on with him and his wife. I grabbed the fireball again and poured myself a glass. Shit, after seeing that, I'd be down in the whole fucking fireball. I'd be breathing that cinnamon fire. He told me that his wife had a newish feminist friend and that she met a couple of years back. Oh, was this a new feminist thing that they hook up with their pets? You know their type, rainbow hair, flat top haircut, nose ring. After a few months, they were crossing into dead bedroom territory. He got suspicious but couldn't find anything. After about a year of it, he had hired the PI. When the PI found nothing, he reluctantly let her off the hook. Let her off the hook? Smack! If they haven't hooked up in a year and she's behaving like an a-hole and giving him all these reasons to be suspicious of her, that's when you, at the very least, start checking her laying down the law. Well, that's probably what her effing his friend wanted. I told him that he should gather some more evidence and get a lawyer working on emergency custody. He grabbed her laptop, but he didn't know her password. I suggested he check the, the uh, CD tray, tray for a post-it note. Some people keep passwords written down. He had tried to get, one, get, get on search before, but had no luck until now. It didn't take long for him to find messages between his wife and his, her feminist friend. They've been talking about all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what they do. What sticks out, though, is they were talking about starting a fifth wave of feminism. Okay, so fourth wave isn't bad enough? Now we gotta have a fifth wave? Is that with animals? All the Me Too stuff had them riled up, and they were talking about a movement to completely replace men in their lives. They believed that all women could switch to buying sperm in a sperm bank to have kids, and their, their S-word needs could be taken care of by both women, and I'm sure you could have guessed this part, but also by dogs. Um, who do you think produces the sperm at the sperm bank? So you do need men. And who do you think is going to change your tire? And who do you think is going to be there when you buy a car? And who do you think is going to be there for all the other jobs and tasks that you need men in society that women do not want to do? But okay. He also found conversations talking about how she was going to divorce him, take the kids and move away with her friend to start some sort of women's commune. <laughs> oh, and those poor kids... After a bit, Dan got his head on straight. He saved everything and backed it up online just as his wife walked in the door. She saw her laptop open and ran over it to as fast as she could, grabbed it, and ran off to their bedroom and locked the door. Well, gee, that's not suspicious. Dan had his, hand, his, head, <clears throat> his headset on still, and I could hear everything. He could still hear me. Uh, he told me later that he uncovered one, one ear so he could hear both his wife and me. He was panicked and not sure how to handle this. He went to put his kids in the bedroom and quickly put them to bed. Afterwards, she came out of the room. She had deleted as much as she could. I heard her ask him what he saw. He was tipping over the question. I told him to tell her everything and let her know that he'd already backed everything up. I told him to play hardball and that what she was doing is illegal in most places and that she probably won't want the video getting out. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Problem is, that will make headlines and those kids when they get older will be known as the kids of the mom that you know she immediately threatened to call the cops to say that he made her do all that stuff with the dog Dan started to panic and then started yelling you talk to her into the mic he then put the headset on her on her head she seemed surprised and yelled who is this I told her it was me and then clicked for her that I could hear everything she said well this guy's a witness and he saw this and he heard her say that she was going to make up a bunch of stuff to frame him with the police. I told her just to sit the fuck down and listen. If she doesn't want to go to jail, end up on the news for doing what she did. 
She went dead silent. I told her I saw her in the webcam stream, recorded a video of her, heard her threaten to frame Dan. I also bluffed and told her that Dan sent me a copy of everything on her hard drive so she wouldn't have she wouldn't uh, think that she had a chance in finding the backups. Well played. I told her that she is going to have to leave I told her that she is going to leave the home that night and I explained to her how fucked she really was. It sank into her fairly quickly. I told her that Dan isn't likely to want her around the kids for a very long time, if ever, and that he best changed of, of her best chance of avoiding humiliation and jail time was to avo- to leave and do whatever Dan thought was right. Sounds like a fair arrangement to me. Now, all I may be thinking, why isn't Dan, the husband, saying all this? Well, Dan hasn't a whole, whole lot whole lot of time to process everything, and Dan, understandably, is very emotional, and this is dis- disgusted and all that. You know. So she handed Dan back the headset, packed up her bag, and then took off. Dan was a complete mess, but we came up with a plan. He didn't want to pursue criminal charges for the stuff with the dog, as he didn't want his kids to find out one day. That's what I was thinking when I first read this. It'd be tempting, but it would cause more damage down the road than good. So we had her check into, uh, into a mental hospital and made her confess everything to the people there to get help. Oh, <laughs> sounds like she's going to be in the loony bit for a while. Dan also got a clean divorce and full custody. He promised her that if she got help and cut her new friend out of her life as well as divorced him and gave him full custody, that he would give her a supervised visitation. The alternative was prison. Well, you can't argue with that. She has to take what she can get. She agreed. Everything went through, and the last I heard, she was doing better. She terminated her paternal rights, and Dan's new wife, Dan's new wife adopted the girls. Dan kept his word and allowed supervised visits. He says, sorry for the grossness of some of this, but the details are relevant to the story, as it was much more than just cheating. Well, okay, I'm ready to barf up my freaking lunch now. But I'm sure many of you guys are. But anyhow, there you go. Disgusting on so many fronts. This is why I decided to do it over here on this channel. But anyhow, truth is stranger than fiction. You can't make this shit. Well, somebody's probably going to say this is bullshit. But guys, believe me, there are some seriously effed up people out there that are turned on by engaging in activities with, you know, and I'm not going to say, I watch what I say here on YouTube, but you get the point. It's fucking disgusting. But I love the fact that this guy and his friend, they came together, handled it like bosses, and she's out of this guy, man, like a bandit. But you can't tell me this guy is going to be screwed up for a long time after learning what happened, seeing what happened, all that. And, I mean, what do you tell the kids, you know, but, but I'm going to assume that, you know, she, pretty much he has that video under lock and key so she does anything displeases him there you go off to the world and she, and she knows it so i think she's gonna be on her best behavior forever but uh but anyhow there you go all right guys that's it for today be sure to comment down below let me know what you think about this i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of comments there and guys, if you find a crazy story like this send or like me to cover, definitely email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it, and I definitely will when I get the chance. And make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.